Hello YouTube, this is Largo64 with um, the finale, <laughs> at long last, of Ingersoll, The Gods. There's just a very little bit of this left. Um, sorry I couldn't have wrapped it all up in the last one, but I'll have a few words to say after this is done anyway. Uh, going back a paragraph, as I have mostly done, we do not say that we have discovered all, that our doctrines are the all-in-all all of truth. We know of no end to the development of man. We cannot unravel the infinite complications of matter and force. The history of one monad is as unknown as that of the universe. One drop of water is as wonderful as, in, as all the seas. One leaf has as, as, as all the forests, and one grain of sand as all the stars. We are not endeavoring to chain the future, but to free the present. We are not forging fetters for our children, but are breaking those our fathers made for us. We are the advocates of inquiry, of investigation and thought. This of itself is an admission that we are not perfectly satisfied with all our conclusions. Philosophy has not the egotism of faith. While superstition builds walls and creates obstructions, science opens all the highways of thought. We do not pretend to have circumnavigated everything. Next page, come on. And to have solved all the difficulties, but we do believe that it is better to love men than to fear gods that it is grander and nobler to think and investigate for yourself than to repeat a creed. We are satisfied that there can be li but little liberty on earth while men worship a tyrant in heaven. We do not expect to accomplish everything in our day, but we want to do what good we can, and to render all the service possible in the holy cause of human progress. We know that doing away with gods and supernatural persons and powers is not an end. It is a means to an end, the real end being the happiness of man. Felling forests is not the end of agriculture. Driving pirates from the sea is not all there is of commerce. We are laying the foundations of the grand temple of the future, not the temple of all the gods, but of all the people, wherein, with appropriate rites, will be celebrated the religion of humanity. We are doing what little we can to hasten the coming of the day when society shall cease producing millionaires and mendicants, gorged in indolence and famished industry, truth in rags and superstition robed and crowned, we are looking for the time when the useful shall be the honorable, and when reason, throned upon the world's brain, shall be the king of kings and the god of gods. And that is the lecture, The Gods, by Robert G. Ingersoll. Um, Ingersoll was very important in my youth to me because... Um, I had grown up in a very stultifying religious atmosphere, uh, and um, I was beginning to see the the falsity of a lot of it. And I needed I needed some kind of guidance, something to to help me free my mind from the fetters of of religious dogma. And Ingersoll did that for me. Uh, when I discovered Robert G. Ingersoll, it was as if I had um, opened up a whole new world I had not known existed before. Uh, his language is on the florid side. It was 19th century style, but his depth is unplumbable. It's, it's amazing. And I just wanted to share this with you, everyone. I think some of you will have already expressed uh, a similar feeling to mine about Ingersoll. He was a he was a wonderful intellect and um, a very insightful person, and um, he certainly did help me in the early struggle to free myself from dogma. That's it. Uh, this is going to be a real shorty here compared to the others. And I hope you enjoyed what's been read. I made a few mistakes. I'm a slightly, I'm slightly dyslexic, so occasionally I, I um, bumbled a little bit. But uh, I think I got it out fairly well. Thanks very much for watching.